Zoe is going through some difficult times. She's just really just giving up, and that's not what Free Rain is about. <laughs> What we're filming today is the culmination of a little plan that Aaron and I came up with after Zoe suddenly announced that she might go back to Los Angeles taking Raven with her, which has shocked Frank to his core. So we've cooked up a plan and we've got everybody that Zoe knows into the hay barn and we are showing her why she shouldn't leave. Aaron has put together this small video on a laptop uh, of sort of Zoe's journey and time at Brightfield to try and persuade her to uh, to stay. Although Mia and Zoe have obviously had their rivalries throughout the years, Mia also doesn't want Zoe to leave because there is mutual respect between them, and so it is um, it's a difficult moment for for the whole of Brightfield. And action! <laughs> So I enjoy playing Mia because um, although on the page, the first time I read the part, she read as a very two-dimensional baddie, actually she's much more complex than that and has the reason why she lashes out and says the horrible things that she does to people and excludes other people is because she's fundamentally insecure. Deep down, Susie knows that Mia needs her more than she would ever let on and she knows that when Mia is lashing out and she's taking it out on other people and she's pushing everybody away, that's when she needs a friend the most and that's when Susie is going to be there for her. Zoe is someone who will always do her own thing and not really think about the consequences. She's sassy. She's outspoken and she doesn't listen. The only thing that I'm just like, Zoe, mind your business, is that she's always like, wait, but what about, what about, what about me and what about this? And I'm just like, ah, Zoe, come on, leave it alone. It's okay. You don't need to investigate everything. Go be with your boyfriend. Uh, Marcus is very much working on Mia and Mia's attitude. Susie sets her sights on matching Marcus and Mia up together because they're both too stubborn to admit how they feel and just be like, do you want to go on a date? So she's like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I think at the end of the day, they, they really like each other and actually they're a bit in love with each other. Sometimes all their energy and their adventures are a bit baffling sometimes, but as a retired man, it's actually put a bit of life into the old boy. It's just fun. It's just fun, isn't it? It's fun to watch, it's fun to shoot. Aside from just like acting and like doing what I love the most, I think building relationships with the cast and the crew has been so special, especially this series. They've just managed to find such an amazing bunch of people. It's just so, so fun and I'm going to miss everyone so much. Going to miss the crew and all my co-stars, just being around them and having that, like, that certain energy of, okay, we're going to get this done today, we're all going to get through it, and then we're all going to go out after it. I think the reason it's been so successful is summed up by a tweet. A woman I think about in her 30s, it's my childhood and I'm loving it. Vicky and Anna have managed to do just an incredible job at creating storylines for every single character that people watching at home somehow can relate to. Every character is has a funny side, has a, has a brave side, has a sensitive side, and no character is perfect either. Every single one is flawed. Um, it's just so real and also just sends out such an amazing message as well to a younger audience and parents watching at home can be like, yes, yeah, I told you to always be yourself. I told you to stand up for what you believe in. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just so proud of the show. I just think it's so great. <laughs>